What's up guys, I'm Carson and tell me all a brand new video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this 2018 Audi A4 1.4 TFSI S Tronic. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. For sneak peeks, behind the scenes, short one minute reviews and much more. Remember to go follow my new Instagram and TikTok accounts, I promise you will not regret it. So let's move on to the front of this Audi A4. So as you can see the front of this Audi A4 B9 looks very unique and of course bold standing with its iconic traditional Audi grille over here in piano black. So it's a shiny black paint. This car does have a badge delete which looks like a very aggressive looking front. You also do have this chrome stripping around the grille which gives it a more type of luxury and classy feel. And this car does not have spotlights as you can see. Talking about the lights, these are the top of the range LED lights as I will show you right now. And I will explain to you in detail in the interior about the lights. So then this is the normal data running lights. The park lights. The headlights. The brights. The indicators with the lights. And the indicators without the lights. So as you can see, those lights don't look too bad at all. They are very bright and they are very good quality as they are the LED lights. Something very cool about these lights is that when you put your indicator on, let's say, the right-hand side, the right-hand side daytime running lights will dim, as you can see. As you can see, it is pretty cool. And also, as you can see, this car does not have front parking sensors, nor the rear ones. It is an option. I will go through a few options when I talk about the specs of this car. If your car breaks down, you can easily tow it and you do have some fake grills right over there. Since this car is pretty low to the ground and has a splitter, you do need to dodge those speed bumps. And of course, you cannot go wrong with these sleek body lines on these Audis. 
So this car does have a 1.4 four-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine which produces 147 brake horsepower or 110 kilowatts. This car also produces 250 newton meters of torque which is quite a fascinating number considering that this is only a 1.4 liter straight four engine. This car does go 0 to 100 kilometers in an 8.5 seconds and this car's top speed is 210 kilometers or 131 miles. This car is front wheel drive but there is a quattro variant available and this car weighs 1450 kilograms or 3200 pounds. So it is lighter compared to its competitors but it does lack a few features that the competitors has over this car as I will explain to you more in the interior part of this video. This car is quite economical for a sedan. It is, this is considered as a medium sized car as it averaged about 6.3 liters per hundred kilometers on the city and on the highway 4.3 liters per hundred kilometers. Just remember fuel economy is measured by the way you drive. This car comes in two types of transmissions. It's not like the previous B8 Audi A4. This one only comes in a 6-speed manual and a 7-speed S-Tronic dual clutch. This one is a 7-speed S-Tronic dual clutch. Finally, this car does retail at $21,800 in America, $331,000 in South Africa and in Europe, €19,200. So is this car worth the asking price in 2022? Wait until the further part of your second so this car is worth your money. So this is the back of this Audi A4 and as you can see it looks just as sleek as the previous generation. It is quite larger compared to the previous generation Audi A4. It looks like the previous generation A6. So you do not have any LED lights at the back like the front of this car and I'll show you the lights right now. This is the normal daytime running lights. The tail lights. The fog lights, the brake lights with the lights, the indicators with the lights, the indicators without the lights, the brake lights without the lights, and of course the reverse lights. So as you can see, those lights don't look too bad at all. They are very sleek looking, even though that they're not LED. As I told you when I was reviewing the front of this car, this car doesn't have rear parking sensors as well as the front parking sensors, nor a camera. But that is an option. So you do get your A4 TFSI badging right over there, and this single exhaust right over there, with your reflectors right over here. You also do have your tinted smash and grab heated rear window over there. So let's open up the boot of this car. As you can see it opens right up. This car does have a 480 litre boot. So that is quite big just like its competitors. It is bigger than its competitors. So as you can see, you do have a net over there where you can put smaller things if you don't want them to slide around. So Audi does know how a boot is supposed to work. And also this car does have a spare wheel, wheel spanner, jack, and everything you need in a car. Something that its competitors does not have. You also do have a triangle right over here, like all German cars, which looks very nice. And this isn't in plastic like many manufacturers would do. This is in carpet, which gives the car a more premium look. So, so is the back of this car as impressive as the interior of this car? Let us find out. So this is the interior of this Audi A4 B9. As you can see, it is very sleek and modern looking. So then this is the center console of this car. As you can see, you do have 
this nice screen over here, your Audi MMI. And the further down we go, we do have our AC controls, which I will talk to you about in a bit. And then right below that, you do have a row of switches. And right below that, you do have your cigarette lighter, which is a 12 volt little thing. So talking about these buttons over here, as you can see, you do have your auto start stop off button and your trash control off button or your electronic stability control button. Then all the way to the right, you do have your screen off. It's quite cool. So then over here, this is the AC of this car. As you can see, manually operated. Okay, it is more automatic, but it has like the more traditional, iconic looking climate control. So it does have this very nice, it has like a metal feel, but it is plastic. So it is very premium looking. I'm literally not joking. It does feel very premium for the price of this car. So over here, as you can see, your temperature is manually operated. goes by by one degrees. Then you do have your front and rear windscreen defrosters. And then you also do have your fan speed, which goes up by a lot of levels. And you have your AC button, AC max button. And then you do have your electronic mechanical type of air circulation. It is electronic, but it is like in a mechanical form, which so is quite cool. And then these buttons over here, you do have your interior air circulation and your off button and your automatic button. And you also do have these blank switches, which are for other stuff, for example, warm up seats. So then this is the other part of the center console. And as you can see, like I said, you do have your cigarette lights, 12 volt, engine start stop button, which looks like straight from a Lamborghini or an Audi R8, two cup holders with a nice little light around it, your Audi MMI controls right over there, which I will talk to you about just now. Then you also do have your nice gear lever. It is very modern looking, very sleek. Automatic handbrake, auto, auto hold, and then further back we go, we do have an armrest, and inside that armrest is nothing much. You do have your charging only USB thing, you have your aux jack. So, yes, let me talk to you about the MMI controls. So as you can see, it's more like, like how BMW does it or any other manufacturer, for example. It's not touchscreen, by the way. So with this, as you can see, we have our settings. As you can see, those are our settings. And then when we go to telephone, that's our telephone. Then media, which is our Bluetooth and stuff. And radio, which is FM and AM. Then our sound. Then our car, where we can set up our car. So that is quite cool. So since this is an Audi, it has to look unique and fancy, right? So then that's why you have these little switches over here, where if you tap, let's say the left one up, it goes to the car settings. Then down to telephone, same with the right one. The radio up, media down. <clears throat> and then we also have these other two buttons, which are, you'll figure it out. So then this is the driver's side of this car and as you can see you do have a quite a nice mix between analog and digital which is quite nice. So I'm going to tell you, tell you all about it. So then as you can see, firstly the analog, it says it can go up to 300 kilometers but in reality it only goes up to 210. Never ever understood the point of this. If you do opt out for the more top of the range you do get the digital display. This car has a lot of options, but this one doesn't. So as you can see, this is the digital the little display. You, it displays your, let me just quickly go up. It displays your date and time, speed, consumption, range, short term memory, long term memory, energy consumers. So this car does have short term and long term memory, just like us humans. I wonder if we can train it so it can become better at the short term and long term memory. So then this is the steering wheel of this car, a Napa leather steering wheel, very beautiful looking steering wheel, very sleek. 
you have your buttons and everything and you also do have your step tronic which is the s-tronic my apologies dsg seven speed paddle shifters over here quite nice quite sleek it's an audi what do you expect so then this is your stalks finally not vw stalks this time so on the left you do have your indicators you also do have your one touch triple signal and all those stuff this is an audi what do you expect it's a german car and this is on the right side you do have your wiper controls you do have your automatic wipers and you also do have your one your button touch one go stuff another thing is your limiter you have your cruise control stalk over here with your limiter your speed limiter just like the more newer bmws which the new bmws let's say for example 2012 and above have the limiter wow uh, actually a fun fact is i only learned about the limiter a week ago i never knew this existed but you can limit the car's speed and literally stops at whatever speed you want it to go so then this is the driver's side of this car and as you can see you do have your air, air conditioning vent you have your wire, your lights with your automatic lights and then you also do have your fog light switch and then you have this weather type of switch and then you also do have your interior brightness control further down we go we do have our pedals and we have our bonnet latch so this is the 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 driver's door panel of this car and as you can see at the central locking chrome handle nice plastic trim over here full electric windows electronic child lock electric mirrors further down we go we have a speaker electric ele electronic boot opening latch and you also do have your cup holder and some storage so then this is the passenger side of this car as you can see very sleek looking especially with that nice air vent right over there it goes all the way from the middle to the end very cool looking especially with its chrome plastic trim you have a nice cubby hole and inside that cubby hole is this velcro carpet and we can turn off our airbag and we also do have our cd input and our sd card input and it opens up nice and slowly so the seats of this car these are synthetic leather seats you can get a real leather seats i would get the real leather seats i don't do synthetic leather but if you like synthetic leather go ahead so yeah these are manually operated eight way as you can see forwards and backwards up and down and my most hated type of reclining scroll wheel as you can see it's with the wheel never understood why vw and audi still keep this system i hate it a lot honestly i really do not like it i prefer bmw and all other manufacturers using a latch where you just latch it up and it makes life so much easier one second i'm lying down the other second i'm like this with this it will take me a minute to, to lie down and a minute up here which gives me a wrist exercise so then this is the roof of this car as you can see you do have your microphone over here and you have some buttons for your lights our sunroof controls and the microphone and our lights over here which are touch operated and you also do have this extremely sleek looking beautiful mirror rear view mirror this is absolutely beautiful mirror like it's wow that is beautiful incredible and it would be so cool if it actually had like a camera display that's so cool i love it so then <laughs> both the driver and passenger does have mirrors on the sun visors and then also every single passenger does get a handle let me put up on the screen how many airbags this car has so yep that's how many airbags this car has so enough of me blabbing about the front of this car as it took me 10 minutes i'm going to go to the back of this car so in this is the back of this audi a4 as you can see it's quite nice looking this is where you actually start to see the rise in the competitor side so then this is the center console as you can see you do have a little piece of storage and your 12 volt cigarette lighter 
the other part of the sense console, nothing much because there's no armrest. There it is. BMW 3 Series and Mercedes C Class both have rear AC and also an armrest at the back. This is where it falls behind this car. Then this is the back of the seats, nothing much to go through, there's no netting. So then this is the door panel for the rear passengers and as you can see I have a nice tweeter, chrome handle, plastic trim, electric windows and a cup holder and a speaker. Now this is where Audi kind of forgets about the rear passengers. You don't have the rear AC, you don't have the armrest. It's not the Audi I thought it was. So the carpet quality of this car is not bad at all as you can see. And yeah, so you also do have a light up here. This time it's not touch operated, it has a button. So then you also, every single passenger at the back does have a handle. But yeah, it's not very fascinating at the back over here. I thought it would be better. So this is the side of this Audi A4 B9. And as you can see, it looks like an A6. That's how much larger it is compared to the previous generation B8 Audi A4. So let's firstly begin with the brakes and tires. This car does have 17 inch alloy mags with brake discs on the front and on the back. So Audi is not cutting cost over here. At least I'd hope so. So as you can see you do have your tinted smash and grab windows over here which does make the car look very nice and of course with your chrome stripping right over here you do have your color coded very very sleek looking mirrors with your indicator implemented in to the mirrors which make the car look very sleek then of course you do have your very sleek looking Audi lines right over here which add to the sleek looking of this car Audi always knows how to make proper sleek looking cars you also do have your side skirt right over here it would be cool if it was piano black but you could always do that or if you do purchase the s line version of this car you will get a more sporty looking audi and you also do have your sunroof right over here and your hidden antenna the antenna is nowhere to be found So my opinion is I think this car is a great car for its price. It is lacking some features and it is also gaining some features compared to the competitors. But if you are that Audi fanboy then this car is perfect for you. Also for the price this car does offer great value for money. And it's also reliable as it has a VW engine. So I'm going to put the Ankara score on the screen so you can see the scores that I gave this car. So for the daily scores, I give this car 6 for futures, 7 for comfort, 6 for quality, 9 for practicality and 8 for value, which brings a total of 36 out of 50 for the daily scores. Now for the weekend scores, I give this car 8 for styling, 6 for acceleration, 8 for handling, 7 for fun factor and 7 for cool factor, which brings a total of 36 out of 50 for the weekend scores. So the total young car score for this car is a well deserved 72 out of 100 which scores second in the cars I have reviewed this year. Well done to the Audi A4. So if you have stayed to this far, if you think much watching, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button, like button, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upcoming video like this. What is your opinion on this car? I would love to know. So have a great day as always, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. <music>